Can I see your driver's license and proof of insurance, please? Oh, is it a crime to take photographs in a public area? Am I being detained now for the 15th time on camera? Um. Yes or no? Yes. What have I done wrong? You're illegally detaining me! You clown, are you kidding me? Go get a real job, you it's rude human. Get away from me. I'm not saying anything to you, I don't need to answer your questions. I'm smelling an odor coming from your car. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Go get that. your puppy then, clown. I am not getting my puppy. Oh my goodness gracious. Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. Today's story is from the channel CM. CM was parked here on Oak Street in Minnesota. Just a few doors down, he had an appointment to conduct some work on while waiting for his partner to arrive. A nearby resident approached his vehicle. Hi, are you last? Not at all. Okay, are, what, is there a reason you're sitting here? It's public space. Okay, we've had a lot of activity in the neighborhood. There's a lot of activity in every neighborhood. Okay, well I'm gonna have a well being checked on, okay? Perfect. Yep. The woman calls the cops. Why exactly? I'm unsure. Perhaps you can help me out with that in the comment section below. A few minutes pass and CM's fellow employee arrives. Hey, uh, the uh, assist here is calling the police on me, so I'm just waiting for him to show up. Just go ahead and I'll be there in a second. Shortly after, Officer Jansen of the North Branch Police Department arrives on scene. Hello. Howdy. Is your driver's license proof insurance? Please. Is there any reason for it? Yes. What's the reason? Uh, one of the neighbors in the this na neighbor right here neighborhood called in saying that you were taking photographs of her while she was out in her yard. Taking photographs of her? Yeah. How would she know that? Regardless of how she knew that, CM is on a public street, and even if he was taking photographs of her, it is legal, and there is no reason for CM to provide his papers. How would you know I was taking photographs of yeah, you? Yeah, I see your driver's license and proof of insurance, please. Oh, is it a crime to take photographs on a public area? It's not. It, it's not, actually. Okay. It can be considered uh, intrusive and disorderly conduct. So is it intrusive and disorderly conduct? Is it or isn't it? It is not. In the state of Minnesota, disorderly conduct is defined as engaging in brawling or fighting, disturbing an assembly or meeting, or engaging in offensive, obscene, abusive, boisterous, or noisy conduct or in an offensive, obscene, or abusive language tending reasonably to arouse alarm, anger, or resentment in others. CM was there to do a job. This woman made herself of interest by inserting herself into his world. Do you suspect me of having committed a crime? Am I in the commission of a crime? Yes or no? That's simple. That's what I'm trying to determine. Well, no, I'm not, so you've determined I it I don't now. have to take that from, for your word for that. So are you telling me I am unable, as a free citizen of the United States of America, to sit in a public area, public space, with my phone on my mount, which is where I prefer it to be, doesn't mean it's taking pictures, that's just where phones go on the mounts. You're not supposed to hold your phone in Minnesota? That actually doesn't... Well, I'm just getting ahead of time. Person. I it's safer, the isn't safety. it? You actually had your hey, I have a question. What street is this? Is this Oak Street? Hey, is 6186 Oak Street four houses down? I'm not asking you. It very easily could be. It yes. is, actually. I'll just confirm for everybody. It is, actually. Okay. So, if you were going to 6186 Oak Street, At why not sit... 11 a.m. And no, I'm not going to sit right in front of their house. Because so this is public of... space, so I can sit anywhere along this street I please. Any day of the week I please, any time of day I please. And all I asked you was if you were lost. And I then you went and called the police on me after I said, no, I'm not lost, thank you for your help. This is an interesting phenomenon that bootlickers often fall victim to. The portrayal of the initial conversation is correct. She asked if he was lost. CM told her he wasn't. And she called armed men. Why? The world may never know. Can I help you? Sure. What can I help you with? What's uh, actually, am I yeah, being I detained? Am I being detained? No, you may not. That's private information. I'm not going to share with a random person. Am I being detained? Am I being detained? You are a random person. You I haven't even not. identified yourself as a police officer. Appalling. That's appalling. Am I being detained now for the fifteenth time on camera? Um. Yes or no? Yes. I'm being detained. What yes. am I being detained for? investigation into a suspicious activity. What's the suspicious activity? Sitting in a public space with my phone on my mount? I don't it's know. It's all on camera. Do you understand that? I'm going to go to your department and send them the video. Okay. What have I done wrong? 
You're illegally detaining me. You clown, are you kidding me? What a joke. Do you see my partner down here as well filming? You clown. You are a joke. Go get a real job. Go get a real job, you it's... rude human. Get away from me. What have I done that's rude? You're illegally detaining me. You just stated I... it on camera. Yes, I am detaining oh my you Lord, during the hilarious. investigation of a suspicious activity that was reported All right, to my well, office. is there a crime being committed? Has there been a crime I committed? I have not been able to what determine are you that to lead up with, What are you going to do to lead up with your investigation? What are you going to do? That's why I'm trying to discuss this with you and determine what it is that you're doing in the area. None I of don't... anybody's business because this is public property that I pay taxes for. At this point, there is no legal ground for detainment. The officer admits several times that he doesn't know why he has detained CM, and that he is continuing to detain him because he won't give up his Fourth Amendment right by providing his papers and work order. CM has no obligation to prove anything to the officer. Okay, so what you're saying is you're a resident of the city of North I'm Beach. not saying anything to you. I don't need to answer your questions. I've committed no crimes. I am not in the commission then of a I crime, don't know and you pay for I don't any believe of this any. Role. Okay. All right. The officer implies that if CM doesn't live in the city of North Branch, that he doesn't know if he's paid for any of the road. Even if that were the case, does it mean that CM can't use the road unless he surrenders his Fourth Amendment rights? At this point, I'm having a hard time following the officer's logic. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. Well, you're I wasting got... your time. The only person that's been rude has been you. Great, I'm being harassed by two random people for sitting in a public place in my own state. Okay, so I'm not a random person. You are to me. Okay, and you're a you're not a cop until I've committed a crime. Otherwise, you have no business talking to me, questioning me, illegally no... detaining me on camera. Bet you regret that. No, actually, I don't. Okay, that's why I have not told you to shut off your camera because I have done. Nothing you cannot wrong. tell me to shut off my exactly. camera. Exactly. Why would, why would you even bring up the fact that you haven't told me because you can't in the because first you, place, you whether I'm committing place, a crime Ron. or not, you cannot tell me to turn off my camera. Exactly, I can't. Is your camera on? Yes. Is it? Unfortunately, I don't have my mic on me, but my camera is on. What a joke. Good Lord. Because I never expected a, okay, any well, kind of issue. Okay, well, I have an 11 o'clock appointment, so you have eight minutes to do this, and then I'm going to my appointment because I am not detained. Unless you have a legitimate, lawful reason to detain me. And I tried explaining that to you. Okay, well, where's the investigation at? Where's the investigation I'm at? I'm still trying to determine if what you're claiming is correct or what she's claiming Doesn't is really correct. matter. I can yeah, take pictures of anybody's house from the public spot. You can't trespass my eyes, and you cannot stop me from taking any pictures of anything from a public spot. That's correct. So why are we here talking? Because... The reason this has gone on oh so long is because Lord. you won't cooperate. I don't need to cooperate. Okay. I don't need to. The officer agrees again that even if the lady's accusations are true, that it's perfectly legal, and that the only reason CM is still detained is because he won't surrender his Fourth or Fifth Amendment rights. I would need to if I'd committed a crime, correct? Or well, if you, if I knew that you or had committed if a I'm, crime, you would already be Am I be being suspected out. of committing a crime? Am I being, that's a yes or no, am I being suspected of committing a crime? Do you suspect me of committing a crime? At this time, no. Okay, then Except have a nice day. Kick rocks. You're dismissed. Other than I'm smelling an odor coming from your car. Oh, here we go. The officer's ego has certainly been bruised for him to now resort to one of the most egregious tactics used by law enforcement. An odor is purely subjective, but for some reason, officers are allowed to use the claim of an odor as objective fact. We can't prove that he can or can't smell an odor, and thus, we cannot prove whether or not this stop will continue because of contempt of cop. Let me know what you think the answer is. Go get that your puppy then, clown. You can be embarrassed for another 30 minutes on camera, this is going on YouTube. This is going on Facebook. What's your okay. name and badge number? Officer David Jansen, badge 518. Thank you. 40 minutes later. Thank you for identifying yourself, it Officer hasn't been Jansen. 40 minutes. 13 minutes, exactly. Thank okay. you for identifying Quite yourself. What's the difference between 13 All right. and 40? Thanks for the correction. Thank you for so identifying I'm yourself to identify 13 myself. minutes later. Why I don't need not? to. I'm a private citizen. So you are required to, actually. Don't get that twisted, buddy. You're a police officer. Well, you said I was a random person. I can say whatever I want. I'm okay. a private citizen. All right. Are you going to go get your puppy or are we going to waste no. more tax dollars no, on I'm camera? Not. 
I am not getting my puppy. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. So why are you still here then? Because what are you looking at I'm in my car? Look at this crazy random person so, looking in my car. I've already identified myself. You already said I'm a police officer. I'm no longer a random person. I'm talking it. to the camera. Thank so you. So now, well, you've said it on camera that I'm not a ran, all right. not a random person. You Look identified me as a police getting. officer. Look at how upset you're getting. Be professional. I am being professional. All right. It's that you are keep. I don't need to be professional, okay. buddy. It's not my job to be a police officer. I'm a private right. citizen. So. CRI, thank you very much. You're dismissed. And just like that, the officer leaves. It is truly astounding that CM was held against his will for not submitting to a state official. Unfortunately, the video ends here. The comments are turned off, and it is the only video on CM's channel. In the description, he mentions that this happened in 2019, but does not mention any further interaction with the officer or department. Hopefully, a complaint and lawsuit was filed. Thanks for watching. If you have a video you'd like me to review, email it or send it in via Facebook Messenger. You can also view this and other content on my website. If you're new here, subscribe for future content. If you've been around for a while, remember to like, share, and comment down below of what you think of this interaction. Shirts and other goodies are available at the Teespring store linked below. Channel memberships start at just a buck if you'd like to further support the channel and get a Slick Lack logo next to your name. I'll see you in the next video. All links are down below.